Yes, guys, this monster bundle of 300 plus floral tumbler wrap designs makes over $7,000 a month. What a beast of a product, guys. Tumblr wraps are really, really popular right now, guys. And these designs are selling like hotcakes, guys. Guys, if you love videos on digital products, how to create digital products, how to sell digital products, and anything about new digital products that are coming out, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, guys. I'm gonna show you exactly how to create floral designs like this one and also how to sell it and maximize on the profit, not only on Etsy, but on other platforms, guys. So check this out, watch this. So guys, this is a beast of a product, right? Let me just analyze the listing very quickly. So check this out. This product of 300 plus makes $7,648 a month and it's listed only for one, it only listed one month ago, guys. That is crazy. Guys, Tumblr wraps designs are becoming really, really popular. I do have a video on designing Tumblr wrap. Do check it out after this video and check out my playlist on all other niches. But guys, look at this. This is, you know, it, it really is growing, you know, and the volume is massive, like the search volume. I'm checking out, I'm using guys Everbee. So if you don't know about Everbee's fantastic SEO software, check out all the links in my description for everything I use. But but it's amazing. Look at this. Tumblr wraps, 1780 volume a month. Tumblr bundle, 1347. Tumblr template, 127. The volume for Tumblr um, keywords are really, really big. So hence why there's a lot of people searching for it. You, can, you know that people are searching for this. And, and, you know, this product is amazing. You know, 300. You might be thinking, wow, 300 of these florals are like, how are you going to do this? You know, people love. Look at this one. The sunflower kind of style, really like it. People really love this. Not only for Tumblr designs, but for many, many products, guys. Floral is one of those products on Etsy that, that sells really well. Some of you might be thinking, but it's a bit too saturated right now. Well, to be honest, there is still niches within the floral that you should try and get into because I think, you know, if something is popular and there's a lot of demand, you still should try and get into it. Although I would always advise you to try and niche down as much as you can get into the long uh, tail keywords and try and rank that way. But look, guys, these florals sell really well, like over 7K and it's only been listed one month. Now you might say 300 florals, how are we gonna do this? Let me show you very quickly, look. As you know, I love Midjourney. Midjourney is my, my go-to AI software where I produce really quick designs, as in really quick designs. So I'm gonna go on to Midjourney right now. I've done a few, uh, I work on it all the time. So look, I'm not going to show you exactly how to how to kind of log in or like how to get on there. But all you need to do is you need to join them, sign in. You can actually try it for free, um, but you won't have the commercial rights to sell products unless you actually uh, pay a monthly subscription, which I do. And there's different tiers, but do check it out. You can play around with it and see how it works for you. But I'm going to just jump on. For now, I'm going to jump on my. Uh, my server right my own server once i've subscribed so how it works is you do forward slash and you go to something uh called imagine and then you prompt it so you give it a string of keywords right so i'm gonna very quickly i mean looking at this look like i said i said i'm gonna do something similar right now looking at this you know the floor when we look at tumblers and i'll show you about what i mean by like there's a lot like you know there's a demand right to be honest, when you type in Tumblr designs, you've got 254,000 results, including ads. That's a lot of results. That's hard to get into. But obviously, when you niche down and you do something like floral, right? Floral. Florals are, are popular. And then, you know, you'll see that the results go down to 30,000. So there's more scope to actually rank. And then you might go floral and then you might be specific. You might say sunflower or roses or something. Yeah. Sunflower right and then it and then it niches down even more look then you've got three three thousand one hundred thirty four so for those people that are looking for specifically those sunflower designs you know that's what you want to maybe go into but what this is what i mean by niching down you want to get into a, something that you know is popular but go in you know within it so if it's floral go what type of floral roses and then keep niching down, right? And then that, when you're creating these designs, then you're able to rank, right? So it's always about trying to 
um, rank on long tail keywords. Look at this one, Tumblr, Design, Floral, Sunflower, wherever it may be. Anyway, so I'm gonna stick to the Sunflower because as we saw guys, this was one of the, you know, one of the designs, 300. And you're saying to me, yeah, but 300, that's a lot. Look, people love bundles. People like buying bundles. So if you can sell Tumblr wrap bundles, fantastic. So look, I'm gonna type in Sunflower, watercolor, uh, design, um, yeah, in a white background. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna go further. I want. The, I want. I want Mid Journey to spit out some interesting ideas for me. I don't want to give it too many prompts, right? Um, but I do want to get specific with the sizes for the Tumblr app. So then, what you have to do is, I'm gonna go to um, spacebar minus minus aspect ratio for the Tumblr design because it has a specific size, and I'm gonna go with. 2000 by I believe it's 171763 and then the other thing I want to do is not only about the size I want to also make sure that I get it um, I get it seamless because that's going to be a pattern that looks like that's going to be a water design pattern right I'm going to say pattern instead of design because it's a pattern that wraps around the tumbler so I need to make sure that I've got the size and I've also made sure that the pattern is seamless, right? Do check out my videos on patterns as well, guys. I've got it in my digital paper and all that uh, in my playlist. But look, so this is how you do make sure it's seamless, right? So it's minus, 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 and then the word tile, right? And then click enter, right? Click enter. I'm waiting to start. Mid Journey bot is about to go, guys. So the Mid Journey bot is ready. Yes, here we go. I got. I hope it's uh, tiled though. So look, it's going to produce four different variations of what I've kind of asked for. And what I really love about Mid Journey, look, it's sp it's going to spit out four. Now remember what I said about the bundle, right? If you were going to try do a bundle of say three hundred, right? I can I could do three hundred in I don't know what half an hour. No, no, more than that. Maybe an hour. I can produce that. Look, I've nearly produced four, right? And also, you could actually, when you do the prompts, you can actually specify to get more than just four, by the way. But let's say if you want to do four at a time, let's say. There you go. You can see here's my um, design. And with the sizes. And let's see how it looks. 93%. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This looks so nice. Look, guys. I mean, look. See, this is what I love about it, right? Look at these sunflower designs, right? See that? I produce something right now in about two minutes. Just look it up. Look. And then you can go regenerate, right? Click regenerate. If you want to keep on the same theme as sunflowers, but you don't have to. Look, I mean, obviously, with a bundle, you're going to do loads of different types. So you might do roses. You might do daisies in uh, orange and white daisies. Look at this one. Orange and white daisies, like that one. Look at this. This is really pretty. Orange and white daisies. But you don't even have to do anything like they've done. Do your own florals, right? If that's what you're going to do. Um, but anyway, so coming back to Mid Journey, look, let's say I want a, an, a, another version of the sunflowers. Look, now it's, it's spitting out another four. So there you go. Eight within what? Two minutes? So it's possible to, to have a bundle of 100, 200 quite quickly using Mid Journey, guys. Okay? There you go. It's nearly done. 62%. Okay. But I'm going to let that run because look, I'm, I want to show you something specific. Now, let's say I want to use a one of these designs, right? Let's say number two. I like number two. Now, use are for uh, upscaling. So if you want to upscale it, make it bigger. You, you click on the one that you want. Or if you know that you want a version of the other one of, of, of one of these, like another three versions or four versions, then you just click V1. But they're very similar to me. When I look at it, they don't look very different. So it's probably better to regenerate. But anyway, let's go to U2 because I think I'm going to upscale that second one. I like that one. That's quite nice. Um, so let's have a look. Is it upscaling? Yeah, there you go. So this is the one that I'm going to use. But I need to test something out, right? I just want to make sure that when you're going to wrap a floral tumbler, you know, it's, it's probably better to make sure that you've got it seamless. 
So look, if I was to save this, I'll just save it in my browser. And then I would also, before I actually, um, well, let's test it first. First of all, let's test. Is it actually a seamless pattern? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this design onto my little tester page. This is my repeat pattern tester page. Oh, here we go, look at this. This is beautiful, right? Look, it's a pattern. It really is, there's no lines. There's nothing kind of like, sometimes when people actually, and this is very important for when you produce digital paper, or when you produce anything really, um, when you're doing your designs for kind of floral patterns, things like that, is to just to make sure that the, it's a seamless pattern, right? And you just use something like this website where you can test it out and look at the tiles, how it's tiled together. That's perfect for me. So I know that this is seamless. Well done for doing that. And uh, if I was to save it, I would just, you know, just save it in my um, save as, save image as. Now listen, the one thing I would say about Mid Journey, it's not the clearest in terms of resolution, right? You want to be, able, you want yours to be super clear. And so what you do is you download it, just like I've done. I've saved it, and then you'd need to use something like an upscaler. Now you can choose what you like, but I use AVC Labs. I think they're fantastic, it's a good brand. And what it does is it, it will upscale for me the design, it make it clearer so that I'm able to upload and send these, sell these Tumblr wraps on Etsy and everyone will be like really happy with the quality. And so, you know, I've this is my sort of, um, this is where I've worked on something previously. And what I would do is I would upscale it. So I'd upload it and then I'd go to the side here, the output setting and I'll click you know, whatever percentage I want it upscale to, two, three, four hundred percent, if I want it really, really sharp, sharp resolution. And obviously the output setting can be, um, sorry, the format can be anything you want, JPEG, PNG. And like I said, those of you that are not sure or haven't used much with Etsy, look at, you know, a good um, seller. Look at a good listing, one that sells well. And just look at what, what they ask in terms of what, like, um, what format you know, they use as well, you know? So just double check whether it be um, JPEG, PNG, just double check. I like to give the, the seller, I like to give the seller options. So I like to give them different file formats that they can take away, okay? So you can see this one is, it says PNG, but you know, you obviously give the seller, you know, give them options, give them as much as they want, really. Um, but I'll have a few formats there possibly. And then what I'll do is, once it's upscaled, guys, and you've done it and it looks very clear using an upscaler. And then what I would do is I would literally have that. That could be one of the listings. And then that could be one of my listings. And obviously I would gather my 300. It doesn't have to be a bundle of 300, guys, obviously. You can do way less and then have it cheaper anyway. But I'm saying bundles are, are sell quite well. But also think about the niche. Now, yes, the florals... You know, we looked at the floral niche. When you look at Tumblr designs, it's, it's still, there's a lot of listings. So what you do, you niche down to floral. You might niche down even more to sunflower, but it doesn't have to be this. There could be other things, animals, zebra uh, prints. These are also really popular and really cool and really nice and people love them. So there's many different types. Don't forget, check out my video on Tumblr design, my other one that I've done. Um, but now... What I would do is not only can you sell that now. Now, let's say I've done my design. Look, here you go. That's one of my designs. I might go back to Mid Journey. I might type in something else. Let's say, um, I don't know. It could be uh, forward prompt, um, you know, roses and, and something else or, or daisies, uh, daisies in a field. Okay. Daisies, uh, blue and can't even spell blue and orange yeah now watercolor get that watercolor feel i like that daisies blue what pattern and then obviously make sure you've got the aspect ratio the size which is here at the top remember make sure you get the size and then dash dash or minus minus tile to make sure that it's seamless okay you just have to copy this across guys it's just nothing not hard take it across you don't have to write it again copy paste and then you've got another design right another lot of designs let me just actually make a space bar there or so why not work right 
Done. Here's another lot, another four. Anyways, so that's all you need to do. And then what you do is have a theme for the bundle. So if it's animals, you might have an animal theme, bundles, put it all together. You might have, uh, I don't know, um, zebra design prints, leopard prints. There's so many different styles up, but I would do my research. I'll go and see what is popular, what do people like, and also what niche can you get into where there's not a lot of listings where you can actually sell. Now, once this is finished, I'm going to show you another way of selling these wraps, which will also maximize on your income, your passive income, which you can get on this. And it's a fantastic way. So just bear with me. 46%. See, that's what I love about Mid Journey. And look at this. Guys, you tell me. <laughs> I mean, how can you not like these designs? I like it already. It's not even 62%. It looks amazing. Right? Amazing. And guys, if you're going to do something seamless with anything, if it's digital paper, whatever it is, do use a verifier. Validate that it's seamless. Sometimes it's not, and you get a pattern, and it's not actually right. Um, but yeah, I, and you can just check out on the video. Look at these. Don't you think these are gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I like this bottom. I like this one. This I, I, straight away. The third one is mine. I love. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I just love this. Okay, so just let's say, let's say you want to verify that it's actually a pattern. All right, and we go to pattern tester. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, validated. Beautiful. I can imagine that on the Tumblr as well. So now here's the next bit, guys. We know um, that if you wanted to sell these, obviously, or you whatever, whatever time, whatever one designs, guys. Look at all of these. These are all fantastic. They sell these by having fantastic mock-ups. Look at these mock-ups that they do beautiful mock-ups even a video mock-up guys right that's how that's what sells it those products these mock-ups which is basically the image that they're showing you right now on the listing now i use there's different ways of doing this you know i use place it place it's fantastic you can download the design the mock-up and you can put your design on there and it will put it on there in in a way for you this is pretty good you can check out the link in my description but you know look guys there's also I mean, look, I, I like to do like you take your money out of uh, you, you, you get money from Etsy and maybe put money back in. Look, type in Tumblr mockups. You can get these really fantastic mockups that you can buy and download and use these mockups for your own designs. So even, you know, Tumblr mockups on Etsy are fantastic. Yeah. So you can use these too. But now let's look at another way to get more passive income, guys, for these Tumblr design. Now, now, not only can you sell the wraps, right? You can almost like, you can even upload it onto something called Printful or Printify and sell these um, once you've got your design um, as a, pure, a pod, print on demand. You can sell it as a pod um, quite easily. All you need to do is integrate Etsy to Printful or Printify very easily and it can be done really easily click quickly with a click of a few buttons really i'm not going to show you on this video because it's going to be too long but it's very easy to do very easy to integrate and all it is really is once you go onto something like printify i'll show you now you would go to your products but like i said you know go to catalog and uh, you would choose um, the product that you want okay so obviously you've got all these here, which which are fantastic. And I did a few videos. Do check them out on other um, products that you can use designs for. And if you go to like tumblers here, click tumblers. And like I said, look, you can get more profit from these as well. And these are all different uh, different tumbler designs that you could use, which are which are used. Um, which are fantastic also. But let's say I use this copper vacuum insulated one. Uh, let me see how the design would go on here. Okay. Mm, now let me go to an another design. Let me go to another tumbler. I want to see how the design would fit. Obviously, you got to, if it's a wraparound from the top to the bottom, so the design would go there. Okay, that's quite nice. Let's see that one. That design goes there. Yeah, I like this one. I use this one. Yeah, I use this one. So look. Stainless steel, this one, this is a tumbler. Um, now, what you do is, so you got your design, start designing, this is how you do it. Get your design. Let's say you've already done your design anyway, so it's fine. You don't even need to redo it. And then uh, I'll use my sunflower that I've just created. I'll click that, click open, right? 
and then it's gonna upload it now the good thing is I've already done it and it's seamless right pattern so it should be quite straightforward so what it is it's gonna upload the design obviously it's not covering it properly so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go you should go to create pattern okay create a pattern and then what you do is say product let's have a look beautiful but guys check this out don't you think that is fantastic so I need to put it into this is like they call it in context if you like a mock-up so that you know you can show what it would look like in reality and look at this guys it is absolutely gorgeous really really nice so I could actually just sell this tumblr I could actually someone could click on this link through pr my printify um, through my Etsy store and they could buy this product and uh, that would be my print on demand that will sell as well and again there's some fantastic pro profit when you sell through um, print on demand it's amazing so that will be your other passive income income stream by creating the same design that could go on there guys absolutely gorgeous i love this so much i mean look at that i mean the way they do the mock-ups as well on printify is beautiful so yeah guys this is another way you would sell your tumblr designs not only just as designs digital product wraps but you can also sell the designs as uh, print on demand products like uh, these fantastic tumblers guys guys hope you liked the video hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell don't forget to check out all of my links in the description and don't forget, I've got more videos on uh, Tumblr design and also patterns and so on. And uh, check them all out, guys. Check out my playlist. Lots of, new, lots of fantastic niches as well. Guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one.